Enter the stars. Good morning. And something has become very clear to me. That we have entered another dimension. A dimension of time. A dimension where social change is brought about, about not by a society, but by their controllers. A realm in which the unreal becomes the real. And the real becomes the unreal. It is clear to me that we have crossed over into... The Twilight Zone. Six and six. The 66 meme, and this has become mainstream news with 5.8 million views. Now, we have a lot to cover today, but what bothers me about where all of this is headed is the complicity, the star power, people's desire to matter and have fully given themselves over into the agenda. Now, the relentless badgering and coercion to get the poker just keeps getting creepier and creepier. And I think by now people are probably getting it out of fear. Kind of like fear of not paying your taxes or fear of what will happen to them if they don't get it. And I'm not talking about getting CV-19. I'm talking about social fear. Get pokered or move on with your life. Esquire magazine. Let's read this opinion piece and see how these people feel about people like us. Now, for those of you that don't know, there have been some new rules here on YouTube. And so I'm going to be using some coded language. So I ask that... Uh, the moderators help people out with that coded language if they get confused. So pop in the chat and the moderators will help you every time I use a code word. That's Tom, most likely, in the chat. I think I saw him on the way into the show. But here is what's going on. It's time to stop waffling about this. If you're pokered, you can move on with your life. Enough with the obsession over... Breakthroughs. CV-19 is never going away. Never. It will become common in our lives. Like the flu or the common cold or any other manner of disease we live with. Knowing we could get before March 2020. We still left the house, went to work, got on crowded subways, ate at restaurants, went to concerts... Maybe now we'll do some of that in masks. If you're pokered, the odds are overwhelming that if you are exposed to the CV-19, you will not be hospitalized or die. Hmm. Will not? Will not be? Okay. The situation in many American hospitals right now is dire. And our collective treatment of healthcare workers at the moment is shameful. But it is almost exclusively the unpokered fueling this problem. So, this is how they think about us. We are the problem. Now, according to the White House, all their... African-American endorsements that they paid for, the blame and shame propaganda, it's all been paying off. Because now they're bragging that African-Americans are now caught up to the rest of the population with the amount of them that got the poker. White House touts success in pokering African-Americans and Latinos. The White House is publicizing new findings that suggest the months-long effort by feds, the state, local, public health officials, the kitchen sink, 
to reach African Americans is showing intended results with CV-19 poker rates for those groups on par with that for white Americans. Social pressure. I'm going to stop calling it poker because they're going to think this is that I'm talking about G-A-M-B-L-I-N-G. You know, it's just really sad that you have to spell everything on YouTube now. What is YouTube going to turn into? They don't like hunting. They don't like anyone with an original opinion. It's going to basically turn into a giant Disneyland theme park with Mickey Mouse and people jumping around like characters. Makes me so angry that we have to do this. So angry. So, 73% of African Americans have apparently gotten the poker, according to their numbers. Can't even say that we disagree with those numbers anymore. Unbelievable. Now, let's keep going on with this, because there's more stories. Lots of stories today, lots of updates. Glad you guys all made it to the channel. Let me make sure you're here with me. There you are. Make sure that uh, we're all tuned in. Okay, there you guys are. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. Hey, Tom, Rachel. Let's keep going with this. Now. Finally. After they got most people to get it, they're admitting that we all don't fit into their far right box category. We're not all the same. Says the director of the whatever. This is crazy. So we've been saying this all along that we're not, we don't fit into a group. We're not all far right. I don't even believe in right and left. And I'm not, I'm not in the green party either. I don't fit into their boxes and most people don't. So now all of a sudden they're admitting that we need to take a different approach that all these people don't fit into a box. Where was that message in 2020 in January? And they were trying to get everybody to get poked, to get stuck. President Joe Biden pleaded with the unpokered, unstickered Americans to get their CV-19 stickers as he rolled up his sleeve for the third do -si do on Monday. The most important thing we need to do is to get more people pokered. Cited the needed recovery of the U.S. economy and overall safety and protection of fellow Americans. Of course they're going to say that. Because then that puts pressure on people that don't get the sticker. About 23% haven't gotten the sticker yet. Now, whether you believe this number or not, I remember last year, this time, I told you that I was expecting an 80-20 split. And here we are. And no one could have possibly imagined that 80% of America would have done it back then when I said that. But yet, here we are. Because I know how powerful programming is. I know how powerful it is. And how they keep, how they don't let up. The same thing happened right after Blind 11. It was relentless programming. To get you to have some skin in the game. And it touched a lot of people. Because a lot of people lost people. Remember? Remember? And they would just keep parading that out. And they would say, look, they would just, you couldn't get out of it. It was like we were stuck in quicksand. And they say, we got to finish. We got to finish no matter how long it takes, no matter what the cost. Otherwise, this soldier's name or his, like, his life would have been in vain. And this soldier, and every day they would parade out new soldiers, right? And we say, we can't quit now. We can't quit now. And then they would keep showing us all the leaders that they took out. Remember? Remember. Never, ever forget. You have to forget history. We're going through the same thing right now. We just need... We need 70%. No, now we need 90%. Now we need everybody or you lose your job. Now we need the children. Then this will be over. 
It's the same playbook. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And you, and it's all driven by fear. Fear. Now, it says here, convincing the unpostickered, I gotta start using sticker, <laughs> and targeting the reasons for hesitation or refusal is not an easy task. Rochelle Walensky told Yahoo Finance, the agency is hard at work to identify the issues. We can't characterize all people who haven't gotten the sticker as the same. Uh, you think? We've been trying to say this from the beginning. Why do you guys keep calling us far-right extremists? Why do you keep calling us that? We're not all far-right. In fact, most of the people that come to this channel are not far-right. You guys have stepped outside of the right-left paradigm. You don't accept their labels. You might have right-leaning thinking. But that doesn't, you don't fit the bill for all of that. You don't believe that a president's going to be our savior and save us. They're all the same. They're all acting the same. Bo Jivin is acting not much differently than the T-Man was, as a matter of fact. Now, you can say all you want about their values that they say that they have. And you can say, oh, well... The T-Man, he would have never let us go to an economy that's all electric. He would have held on the oil. But that's what they do. They keep handing off the football to push the agenda forward. That's the whole game. Because people know that the establishment knows that people would not have accepted an electric economy under the T-Man. Even though they'd want to have it pass through him, they wouldn't accept it. So they had to bring in another to push that agenda. That was Bo Jivin. Let's keep going with this. Recent New York Times column showed Republican states were among the least pokered, stickered. <laughs> like now, see, now I got into a new habit. Adding reporting in recent months that were highest in those states among the unstickered. Such classifications are not helpful. Uh, you think? We've been saying that all along discriminatory it's all the things that the left claims they're against is what they've been doing to us over the last year roasting anybody calling them names like the anti sticker crowd and all of this stuff it's not helpful and you know what else it's wrong because if we're going to use your definition of what's wrong then you need to stop calling us names. If you don't like to be called names, then don't call us names. He noted that labeling the unstickered by political ideology conflates any underlying issues, such as barriers to access or hesitation. Yeah, this was never any. This was never political. It never was. They made it political. The media made it political because they were trying to win an election which we okay you know my thoughts on that then we've taken access and barriers and further into a political identity but it goes beyond that it's not just about political leanings there are other characteristics of a specific subset of population that refuse to be to get a sticker uh, you think it's called individualism it's called Freedom. Oh, look, they even say that here. Yeah. Core values. It's called, we live in America. Now, you wouldn't expect this if you lived in another country. But in this country, this is what we expect. Just say no. Remember that? Apparently, that does not apply here. All right. So, let's keep going with this. More stories for you guys today. And still... Large companies are firing their loyal workers. Doesn't matter if you already had CV-19. Doesn't matter how long you worked there. Many of these people are losing their retirement, their unemployment, for standing up for their right to decide what to put in their body. United Airlines ready to fire workers for defying the sticker mandate. United Airlines said on Tuesday, 600 
employees face termination after failing to comply with the carrier's sticker policy. In early August, the company became the first U.S. carrier to require stickers for all domestic employees. Let's start on Tuesday. The process of firing 593 employees who decided not to get a sticker. Incredibly difficult decision to keep our team safe. This is our first priority. Wow. So they expect that this is going to cause some problems with flights. I would imagine so. Many of these people are probably pilots. I would expect it uh, ain't going to be fun flying in America anytime soon. Staff shortages. Travel disruptions. I flew, I think it was last year or the beginning of this year. And the flights that I had scheduled were changed. Um, even though I paid more money for those particular flights. Flights got changed. The layover was longer. And they're like, this is just the flight you get. I'm like, what do you mean this is just the flight I get? It's just the flight you get. Okay, so that's flying now. Pilots have warned of staff shortages if the sticker is mandatory. Joe Bo Jivin told Big Business they need to mandate the sticker or weekly test. So they're, you know, the buck stops with him and OSHA. So this is what's going on. Um, you know, the holidays are coming up. I know a lot of people, they have that time off work and they want to spend time with family. Well, seems as though we're approaching a pretty dark winter, doesn't it? What else do we have in the news? Well, New York is threatening the nurses with military involvement. In other words, you're not heroes anymore. You're replaceable. You know, the big prediction that they made early on that CV-19 would decimate emergency services like nursing, fire, and police... Never happened. It just never happened. Remember they had us all scared. Oh, if all of the if all the nurses get it there won't and doctors, there won't be anyone to care for the sick. And if all the firefighters get it, what happens if there's a fire? And if these people get it, it's gonna everything's just gonna descend into chaos. You guys, this was before the sticker ever came out to market. And it just never happened. It never happened. Let's read this. Now, this has already come and passed, but originally they were telling New York nurses that they were going to replace them. You're replaceable. You're not a hero anymore. You're replaceable. We'll just bring in the National Guard. New York state officials are bracing for a staffing shortage when the state's health care workers' sticker mandate takes effect on Monday. And could be looking to the National Guard as well, as well as medical professionals from other states and countries to help address them. Hmm. Now, what ended up happening is most of the nurses in New York just caved in. Because when, you know, people have bills to pay. Okay. And unfortunately, um, they chose a profession where... They are out in the wind, out to dry, and there's not many choices for them. They tried, some of them, but you pretty much have to do what they want you to do. What else do we have? Vita says it, has, it needs more data to rule on the safety of sunscreen ingredients. Well... I heard a couple stories just break a while ago saying that not only is the sunscreen and the benzene is, is in the sunscreen, but it's also in the sanitizer. All the sanitizers you got during the spam demic. Many of them had benzene in them. So, they say they need more information. Remember, everything that later is recalled and originally was approved and originally supposedly thoroughly tested and originally all those things, many of those things come back as recalls. Yeah. 
You see the problem here? So, what else do we have? Now, we had talked about this a long time ago. And I said, you know what? There's a problem with police shouting commands at people, threatening death if you don't comply or you don't stop dead in your tracks. There's a problem with that because what if someone can't hear you? Or what if someone is mentally disabled and you can't tell as a police officer that they're mentally disabled and all you want to do is make them do what you want them to do? Well, that's what happened to this guy in Colorado. Deaf Colorado man arrested for not complying with police. Now this could have gone way, way south. They could have taken this man's life. In this instance, they didn't, but they did arrest him. Colorado man who is deaf and uses sign language to communicate said two Idaho Springs officers slammed him to the ground or in an arrest despite his attempts to tell them he could not understand their commands. Brady Mystic said he was wrongfully jailed for four months after the incident. He is suing the officers. Crazy times, you guys. Crazy times. Best thing you can do is get as far away from these controllers as possible. I don't want to live anywhere near a city. What else do we have? Here's the main story today. Should have probably led with this story. The crackdown continues. We all knew this was coming. Remember I told you that any talk about any ingredients that are not listed, that they haven't listed, will get you banned? Remember I told you guys that? And everyone's mad at me. Why won't you talk about this? Well, the people that are trying to force you to talk about certain things, they're part of the, the, the controllers. They're the ones that's the setup. They send these people out, these accounts, these bots. And they go, oh, that channel's not real if they don't talk about the Juice Club. Or that channel's not real. Uh, we all know about the Juice Club. We all know about things that may be in it. Okay, and I've shown you guys decode after decode after decode with the goo that's black, right? Do I actually have to come out and say it? Well, all those people that did are now getting kicked off of YouTube. So what do we do on this channel? Our strategy is to show you their programming in the movies. Right? And then we don't have to say anything. And then when, you know, YouTube says, hey, you're in trouble. I go, all I did was show a clip from a movie. Well, I didn't say anything. You see? See how we can get around this? We get them with their own programming. So, this is what's going on. This is the new information. It's coming down to the wire. Now, before we read this article... Understand that some of the topics that have been disseminated on YouTube were setups. A lot of them came out of the dirty dozen, didn't they? It was a setup. Not to say that that might not happen in the future or that could not be happening now. But my opinion after being in this community for 10 years is I've seen these things come and go. I've seen the nobody died crowd come and go. And drag a lot of channels with them who thought they could too enjoy millions of views on their videos. They jumped on board and now they got all wiped out. Here's what happens. YouTube likes to categorize things. So they come up with these memes that are easy targets. Because all they got to do is do a word search. You say the word. Oh, oh, sorry. Gone. They strike you out very, very fast. And again, not to say that some of these things aren't true, but you got to know when you're walking into a trap. And I fully believe that many of these memes are traps. So this is YouTube's new policy. And notice down here how they allow anybody who makes fun of us, they're able to post. Which violates their own terms of service that says you're not supposed to target a group of people. With negative information. Let's read this. Unbelievable. Banned all videos containing misinfo about 
stickers that are currently administered and have been approved by local health authorities of the W to the H to the O. Measure an expansion of the policy covering stickers. Service says that users shouldn't, for instance, post videos in which they claim that stickers lead to side effects that are in your side. Other than rare ones that that they have acknowledged. See the problem here? The information is tightly controlled. Content that alleges that stickers don't reduce transmission or contraction of diseases or videos that have inaccuracies about the ingredients. Exactly what I told you guys. There are some exceptions that will continue to allow content about sticker policies, new sticker trials, and historical sticker successes or failures. Users can also share scientific discussions of stickers and personal testimonials about their experiences. So they're going to allow you to still talk about your personal experiences as long as they don't have a history of promoting sticker misinformation and their video complies with YouTube's other rules. Now look at this part. Posting videos that condemn, dispute, or satirize misinformation that violates YouTube's policies should be okay too. So it's okay to condemn, dispute, satirize, make fun of, mock, throw under the bus, Wow. Well, I know some great comedy channels that are that are truth that like to tell the truth. So maybe they'll be okay. They're just gonna have to change the way they frame this. They're gonna have to almost pretend like they're making fun of the very people they're trying to wake up. Let's keep going with this. It's taking down channels linked to prominent anti-sticker advocates uh, see the setup here this is the dirty dozen so if you got linked up with these people or start following their format then you're going to be gone if you started mentioning them a bunch in your channel and sharing their videos you're going to be gone here you go right here now i i am very skeptical of these group of people okay i always have been all right I'm not even going to say their names, but you can see them there. Developing robust policies takes time. We wanted to launch a policy that's comprehensive, enforceable with consistency, and adequately addresses the challenge. YouTube, as well as Facebook and Twitter, banned CV19 misinfo in the early days of the spamdemic. They've removed 130,000 videos that broke its rules. So, there you go. There is the update on the future of YouTube. Now, obviously, we're still here. But obviously, you guys see that we're very careful how we talk about this stuff. Very, very careful. And that still doesn't guarantee any kind of protection. But that's why we read between the lines. Between the lines. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, well, the NBA is cracking down too. Cutting pay to athletes who miss games. Now, look, I know all these guys are millionaires. People are like, who cares if they're cutting pay? Understand that this is part of the meme. They're basically going to show resistance, but then show people giving in. And that has some kind of subliminal effect, psychological effect that then causes everyone else to say, you know what? Well, there's no way we're going to be able to fight this. Let's just do it too. And if you can't see the theme running through all this yet, it's becoming more and more obvious that those in power are trying to force this on everyone. Whoa, this guy, look, I think I saw a science fiction movie. Whoa. Okay, so let's keep going with this. Unstickered NBA players, whoops, where did my page go? In New York will not be paid for missed games resulting from CV-19 sticker mandates that prevent them from playing 
the league announced. Any player who elects not to comply with the local mandate will not be paid for games that he misses, says Mike Bass. The announcement came one day after the NBA made clear its preference to employ a sticker mandate for its players, pointing to the players union as a roadblock to securing 100% sticker rate for its members. Okay, well, sounds like they want all the players stickered. Mayor de Blasio jumps on board as well. He tells Kyrie Irving, NBA player, get the sticker. Your fans want to see you. So, the pressure is coming from the top down. So, here we go. We'll see what these NBA players do. Are they going to give in? Are they going to quit? What are they going to do? What else do we have here? Well, in this next story, what used to be one in a thousand that had heart effects... Uh, they're just now all of a sudden that's one in 25,000. Look, I don't care if it's one in a million. Why isn't anybody asking why it causes the heart issues? Why isn't anybody asking this? And are they sure that they identified everyone that this happened to? People sometimes don't report. Got a chaotic situation. Sometimes they don't report. Sometimes the connection isn't even made. Maybe they can't even, maybe they are not, they don't know that it's the diagnosis. Maybe they don't know that that's what it is. You know, sometimes people just don't feel well. Does that mean they're going to get a test to see that they have some kind of heart problem? Of course not. Because there isn't even the general awareness out there of what to look for. Because it's been downplayed in the media. So many doctors are probably going to miss this because they're not looking for it. Many patients aren't going to report it because they're not, they're not looking for it. Because they've been told that it's effective and safe. Remember a year ago there were no effects at all? was 100% safe. Remember, we were told a year ago when this came out? Never, ever forget what they told us then. Now, all of a sudden, there is a small, very tiny chance, YouTube. And all of a sudden, now it's an acceptable risk. Right? And now, all of a sudden... The boost drinks, we're going to call them, have the same effects of the side, according to experts, as the first two dosy dose. Let's read this. The effects of the side from the boost drink of the CV19 sticker developed by Fizzer are similar to those su they use the word suffered here after the second do -si do wow what else do we have here looks like murky mark and the funky bunch is bringing a pill to market says that they show that this CV19 pill works Against the variants. Lab studies show Murky Merck and the Funky Bunch experimental oral CV19 drug. What is it called? Molnu Piravir. Molnu, like Molnek, Molek, is likely to be effective against known variants. Including the dominant highly... So in other words, they have a pill. Pills coming out. Now, this opens up a whole new factor when it comes to their desires to get everyone to get the sticker. Because if they can put it into a substance, 
that's a powder or a pill form, then it could be put in anything, couldn't it? Next story. Planned obsolescence. Another one of the many evils of this world that we accept in our society that drives consumerism. When did we ever decide that it was okay to buy something that is already going to go into obsolescence? Did your device shut off today? Because according to this article, September 30th, which is today, Washington Examiner says that millions, millions of old phones, laptops, and smart gadgets could stop working later this week for a weird reason. That's today. Internet connectivity on older tech devices, smart gadgets, could stop working on Thursday after a key digital certificate required to access websites safely expires. Okay. Safely expires. Let's encrypt. A nonprofit organization is the largest issuer of digital certificates, which encrypts and protects the connection between devices and websites, will be forced to expire one of its most popular digital certificates. This means several phones, computers, video game consoles, smart gadgets, and Internet of Things devices bought before 2017. That's not even that long ago, you guys. They use the encrypt digital certificate in question and haven't updated their software since then could face significant issues connecting to the internet. Problem will primarily affect popular devices such as iPhones running iOS 9. I know sometimes that um, when you guys come on to the shows, some of you can't comment. And usually that's because there's something going on with your phone. It hasn't been updated. And I know for years and years, we were hesitant about updating our phones because we know that they download software onto our phones. Well, now they're not going to allow you to do that. So when you don't update your phone, it just stops working. It just stops working. Android phones running below 2.36 software. Windows computing running software prior to XP, SP3, Sony SP3. So all this stuff, you can see it here. Certain older devices from 2016 and before. And any gadget that has the word smart in it re that requires internet connectivity like certain TVs, bulbs, fridges, home control apps could be affected by this certificate expiry. So your refrigerator stops working, your TV, your smart TV that you thought was so smart, wasn't very smart, was it? Because it just stops working after a while. It cannot compute. There will be a bunch of fires tomorrow. We're just going to have to put them out. This problem has flown under the radar of many manufacturers, including big tech companies. No, it hasn't. They knew exactly what they were doing. That way they can sell more stuff. This is the first major digital certificates to expire since the advent of the internet in the 80s. Therefore, there is no precedent on how to solve the problem. So, if you guys are in the chat, which you are, let us know if something happened to your device today. Did your device stop working? I'd like to know. There have been no squeaky wheels. Planned obsolescence. They admitted right here. Which makes tech devices stop working properly after a certain number of years is part of the reason such problems occur. They're getting to the point now where they're just admitting to us that they're screwing us. That's pretty much where we're at in society with all this. So, that's what's going on with that. Los Angeles. Proposed new sticker requirements could be one of the strictest yet, requiring people to get the sticker to enter malls, movie theaters, and hair salons. So, if you live in L.A., Sorry, this is the your future. And dozens of Massachusetts troopers are quitting. Washington Examiner. Quitting because of the sticker mandate. Dozens of state troopers are turning in their resignations over the sticker mandate. So, a lot of those... Officers are seeking to get into other positions where there are other alternatives such as mask wearing and regular testing. But you guys, this is our future. This is where it's all 
heading. Not quite sure what to do other than try to be independent of the system because eventually it's going to touch you too. Eventually it's going to touch you too. If you have anything invested in the system, the career, your college degree, whatever the case may be, the thing that you thought was safe, the thing that you spent tens of thousands, in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest in your future with an education may not be safe, probably won't be safe. The best thing you can do is to become independent from all that. Work for a small business or a mom and pop shop. Make a plan with them. Make a pact. Not a pact. We're not, we're not supposed to square oaths to anybody. But say, look, I'm looking for this as a long-term thing. Yes, I'm making half of what I did before. But I'm with, I'm with you through this, through the long haul. Just promise me you're not going to make me get a sticker. And you will always have a loyal employee that will show up to work. That's the kind of long-term planning we need to be doing. And even if you're making less money, hopefully you have some kind of asset, some land, somewhere where you can live for a very inexpensive amount of money. And it's time to tighten the belt. Either that or sell out. A lot of people are selling out. So the choice is yours. The choice is yours. Oh, wait a minute. There was a comment section on one of these before we go into the chat here. You know, it's weird. Yahoo has opened up some of these comments. Most of the time when you go on these Yahoo stories, they say our goal is to create a safe and engaging place for users to connect over interests and passions. In order to improve our community experience, we are temporarily suspending article commenting. This is the message we've been getting from them. And most other on loon, on on loon, online media news, right? But every once in a while, they open up the comments. Let me see which story was it on. Let me go back through these stories, and then it's fun. Then I have a field day because you see how most people really feel, and other people are angry too that they shut the comments off. Let's go here. Where does it go? Where'd it go? Let's see if this one. Oh, here you go. Here's some comments that were opened up. And now whoever opened up these comments, they're probably in big trouble. Okay. Because they're not supposed to be opening up comments, especially on stories like this, where they find that the effects from the sticker boost drink are the same as after the second dosey do. So what did the what does the comment say here? Only twenty two comments. I said, wait, this is me. A year ago, there were no effects from the sticker. And if you said there were, you were fact checked for misinfo. Oh, and then of course you get th this guy. The science is constantly evolving as information leaks and can be properly controlled. Science, on the other hand, already knew these things. Okay, we'll see what Return of the Jedi says. Speaking for myself, no uh, underlying health condition, good BMI, no. and in the safer age bracket, puts my chances of succumbing to CV on par with being hit by lightning twice while watching the Cleveland Browns win the Super Bowl. Couple that with the fact that these stickers do not... Okay, you're not supposed to say that. Can't say that, but this is what the person is saying. And then Scant agrees. Talks about that. Natural I moon the city and helping to prevent things. What does Nicholas say? I find it interesting that people who keep saying that I shouldn't get the sticker. I should get the sticker to save lives. Never say anything about how our government could should mandate that all employees give unlimited employers, I'm sorry, should mandate all employers give unlimited paid sick days with a doctor's note, of course. Yeah, because if they did that, then they would be looking out for people, right? So it's not really about 
keeping a bunch of people from getting sick because every flu season they would they would let people have paid time off, right? They would say, oh, you, you got a fever, go home. And you get paid for that, okay? They would have done that a long time ago, decades ago. So all these comments here, some of them are funny. And that's what's going on. <laughs> so look look at all the people that agree with with uh or disagree with the article too so that just goes to show you that gives you some hope if you ever find a comment section on one of these news stories that will give you some encouragement because it gave me encouragement because i was like man has everyone lost their minds all right back in the chat so how did I do, you guys? Do you think I got around the algos today? It's difficult to do. You know, it's a lot harder than it looks to talk in code. I guess you get used to it after a while. Okay. Let's let this catch up here. Ah. <sighs> Welcome to the wonderful world of YouTube. Yeah, please thumbs up the video if you haven't already. Pray against this. Yes. It's going by fast here. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Wynn. Wynn Wilson. Seven Grains, Dana J. Al Gore's Rhythm. Thanks, Deborah, Laura, Angel, Betty. <sighs> I mean, we have to have a little fun with this, right? We might not always have a voice. Now, if you haven't already, with all this going on with YouTube, please, please, please. I only have two backup channels, and they're listed in my main channel page you'll see it just click on the channels tab and you'll see my channels and we what will happen is if we ever catch a strike we'll just go to the other channel so if you're subscribed you'll just it'll be like nothing happened we'll do live show over there you guys all show up and it'll be like nothing happened but in order to do that you have to be subscribed to those backup channels i hardly ever upload on those channels anymore but they're there so that we have them. One of them has 60,000 or so subscribers. And the other one has maybe 13 or 14,000 subscribers. Subscribe to both. That way, in case we need to use them, they'll be there for us. Okay? Yesterday's show got um, identified by the YouTube team. as, um, And so I just pulled it down re-uploaded it before it had anything happen to it and that's why that happened with yesterday's show many of you are like where'd the show go well it's here i just had to re-upload it for some reason when you do that i don't know why i don't know what it is i must have someone following this channel channel just flagging my channel every single day and then it gets reviewed every single day our videos get reviewed no matter how careful we are it's crazy um, someone wants me to do Squid Game. Yeah, I had that pulled up. I had Squid Game pulled up on Netflix. Maybe I'll look at that show. I do want to get into more episodes of Midnight Mass. But that's very, very dark. I don't know if I can make it through that whole thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks, Chris. Thanks for showing up to the live show. Chris Vaught and Noah. Noah's from Stockholm. Thanks, still here. Watchman's Duty. T. Kerr. Rudolph, Lori, Georgie. So, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. Jennifer, thanks for, thanks to all of you guys who have become channel members. That's, that's awesome. That's great. Whoever I lose our channel, some, what they'll do is they'll knock you guys off the channel membership, but then we can just go on to the backup channels. There's also the paypal monthly paypal if you're one of those people who want to give a little bit more above and beyond i don't you know the, we're always going to have the same content regardless so when i talk about people that help the channel 
there is no obligation to do that whatsoever. It's only those people that have a little bit extra to give. Some people do like five ninety nine a month, and that helps the channel. That helps us in case things go haywire. We'll always come back on here and read between the headlines and decode things. And if you're a person that has given, you feel free to, and even people that haven't, feel free to shoot me a message, send me email to with any requests that you have. You know, so I'm open to looking at things that I haven't considered yet, like the squid game. And in fact, most of the things we look at on this channel come from all of you, the recommendations that you guys give us. So don't be shy about that. Okay. Whether you give to the channel or you don't. So we're going to be okay. We're always going to have a voice. I've tried to carefully manage this channel in a way that after all of the lessons we've learned we've lost two channels before uh and i've tried to come up with a technique that preserves the channel okay and i know it sometimes it feels like we're trying too hard but what is the alternative the alternative is we're off on one of these offshoot sites and it's you guys it's becoming very 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 clear to me that these alternative truth sites are honey traps i was reading into the history of gab and they had data leaks and all of the people that signed up all their data got spread out and it's for sale basically to the highest bidder who wants to do news stories and research on it okay and of course what is the first place that uh the government's going to go to try to find people that they can arrest it's going to be on the alternative websites. And that's exactly what they're doing. I don't trust them. And it's not that I trust YouTube either. But here you can hide in the forest. Let's put it that way. They don't have enough people. Enough staff to go in and find and dig out every single person. Okay. So we're hiding in the forest. And I know it's not perfect. But it's a lot better than being on an island where the island was actually built to identify and take people down. They've already made it clear, you guys. And it was under the T-Man. Made it very clear, domestically, who they were focused on. And who the new enemy was. In the, in the leaked FBI memo. Remember that? Under the T-Man? It was all of us. They named us specifically. Not our channel, but they named us specifically. Remember that? So they've already told us what they're going to do. I don't know how people still believe that a man is going to save all of us. I have no idea. They even mentioned the letter that shall not be named in the leaked memo. If you don't know about that, just Google search leaked FBI memo T-Man and it will tell you right there. They name the letter that shall not be named. They name it. And those very people still believe in him. It's unbelievable. The dissonance. It's unbelievable. Thanks, Jennifer. All the glory goes to the Most High. You know, I don't take any credit for anything on this channel. Okay? The only thing that I can be responsible for is my will to be used as a vessel by the Most High. That's the only thing. And even that, he gives me the strength. I can't even say that the will comes from within me. I'm like on autopilot and he's saying, don't stop. Don't let up. People are depending on you. People want to know the truth. And you can help people. We can make a difference. Even if we have a muzzle covering our mouth. I love each and every one of you. We'll be back on here tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do yet for tomorrow. Probably headlines. Thanks, Any Blue. Thanks for becoming a channel member. We'll probably look at more headlines. Uh, I'll try to get into this uh, Midnight Mass a little bit more. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Try to get outside. The weather's starting to cool down a little bit. So try to get some fresh air before the winter hits and we're going to be all socked in. I know that um, I feel a lot better after getting out after the morning shows and playing basketball every day. I go to a court where nobody's at and I just run up and down the court and I do layups. And I've been doing that for about five or six months now and I feel a ton better. 
I lost some weight and you know, I highly recommend it each and every one of you, no matter, I know some of you are disabled, but just do something, you know, get into a swimming pool, maybe sign up for a swimming pool or something, or, you know, whatever you need to do, you need to, you need to sweat every day. You should get your heart rate up. You should do some sweating. And we're going to need it going into these times. You're going to need to be lean and mean. You're going to need to be prepared because the Bible says, let not your flight take place in winter. So, love you guys. Have a great day.